challenge in recording was trying to make everything fit together and make sense. Hopefully we accomplished. The most challenging parts for me was was the fact that not only did I serve as the you know a part of the band um, and assisting in producing the record, but I also had to engineer it because it was recorded at my studio. I've recorded with a few cover bands and I've recorded with a few other original projects in the past. Not to this extent, however. One of my favorite songs is um, Blood Moon. Um, it's just a, a three chord progression song that moves along uh, relatively fast uh, and it's a lot of fun to do. My biggest challenge in writing these songs probably was coming up with the parts and how they would work. And really, there was no way to find that out until I was able to, you know, get with a band of guys, you know, and and try and, and see what it sounded like. I try to utilize things that not everybody uses in their music. There, there's a standard to certain types of, of all, all types of music. There's a standard. Um, way that, that they're played through and and uh you just i guess you just try to be different and when you do sometimes you end up with things you didn't expect and sometimes you, you end up with things you did expect uh, i think a lot of a lot of the stuff uh i really didn't expect to happen it just did so you know we we, we went with it because it, it was good stuff so <laughs> You know, it's really hard to put a label on this type of thing because um, you really can't call it rock and you really can't call it guitar instrumental. And I suppose if you were to put it in a class, a class by itself or uh, uh, on a website like, uh, you know, garagebands.com, you would just have to say that it was instrumental rock. Uh, but to put a real, real classic label on, the, on this type of music and the project, you know, as a whole and our feelings and everything, that would take some thought bit of jazz, a little bit of blues, you'll even hear some uh, heavy stuff in there, uh, but it's not like anything else that's out there right now. That's there's a little cut, but uh, we're going to have to do that again.
Why? Because the ending is exactly the same thing. So just put so that one time through. Yeah, and just put that on the bottom back of it, then that's all you got to do. No, because the ending's different. At the end of it, it's, different. <coughs> it's like it comes out of it different. No, you guys do the same thing, though, don't you? Yes, same we do. Exact same. The songs on the album probably didn't take that long to write, to actually put it together. Um, Todd started with this group um, uh, actually a little over a year ago. At that point, there was probably five or six songs. Uh, that that me and George had already kind of pre-written with a, an, another guy, and and that was not going anywhere. So, you know, once we got with Todd, things started moving because he started to fit into the picture, and uh, he he got the idea of what we were trying to do, and um, it, it it's kind of just it really clicked. <laughs> I use is I'll listen to uh, music passages that are very similar to the style and the thing that I would like to use uh, in the next song we're getting ready to write. Um, I'll hear a really cool lick or a really cool thing and I'll go home and I'll try that and then see how it fits into the project um, as we're as we start our recording. Um, using Dave's uh, melody lines and stuff I knew that uh, uh, Todd and I the drums and the bass had to really concentrate and put our heads together to make sure that we were putting out a really tight bottom. Well, all music is relative to each other. Um, you can hear pieces in a country song that sound like something in a rock song. You can hear something in a rock song that sounds something like jazz. It, it's all the same. Music is all the same. It's just the way that it's put together, the way that it's arranged. As far as people uh, saying this sounds like someone else, and um, it, it may. Some of it probably does. And the reason why is because no matter who you are as a musician, I think we all pull from different influences, and that's, that's how we learn. And once we learn, um, ultimately we're going to learn what and play what we enjoy playing and hearing. And uh, uh, you're bound to, to hit something that sounds like someone else. You know, it's, it's almost unavoidable future plans of the band, the future direction, the future of, of the music, the future of, of the direction that we're going is all going to be part of an evolution of the three people that are the core of the band. So I mean we've got three people who are the core, you know Dave and George and myself. We, we're, our, our attitudes, our feelings, our emotions, our abilities, our writing abilities and a lot of times uh, it has a lot to do with, with how we're feeling. Um, you know. Music is, is obviously something that is, comes out of the heart. And if you're not feeling well or you're not producing, then you're not producing music well. <laughs>